Good morning. I spent the night uh, parked up in an industrial area, just side street camp, nothing special, but uh, it's nice because I don't get kind of rushed out in the morning for city camping. It's just kind of chill out and uh, do your own thing. But uh, yeah, it's not a Walmart and I'm trying to avoid a Walmarts at all costs, both shopping there and just being there. I just don't think it's a healthy, normal human thing and I don't really like the company much. Anyway, just uh, doing some editing. I'm gonna get Champ a little bit of a walk, some action today, because today we're gonna leave him in the car, unfortunately. I wanna show you how I leave Champ in the van, by the way, too. So I'll do that as well. But I'm going sailing today and it's gonna be a little bit different than before. I'm gonna be gone for probably three hours. So um, I've set up the rig like in as intense a climate control um, as possible. So check this out. First of all, fantastic fan. That is like the core of my whole climate control. I have it set to its maximum, sucking air out with this thing stuck as wide open as it'll go. So even if the wind picks up, it's not gonna knock it down. It's good. Over here, I have all the window inserts in and they're all facing reflective side out and all the windows are shut, okay? Except for one window over here in the back. Now I pick a section where I know it's gonna be shaded for the entirety of uh, the time and then I pick it like as far away from the fantastic fan as possible usually and I just open one window and the airflow is constant. You can feel the breeze rolling right by and that uh, keeps in here quite, quite cool. Now, the other part to this is the roof is all insulated, so there's no heat coming in through the roof. It's basically only coming in from the windows, and the windows are mostly insulated too, so we're pretty much at like 99% efficiency here. There are a few things I'd like to do. Uh, you know, obviously I'd like slightly better insulation, um, especially on the windows at like double pane and stuff like that, but that's just not uh, feasible for a 90s van, so I'm just gonna pack up my gear Got the solar panel running full tilt and uh, yeah, battery bank is full. So no matter, even right now it's not that hot, but in case it gets hotter later, the system is good till roughly like, I wanna say like 34, 35 degrees Celsius. So we're getting nowhere near that today. So this is very safe for him. Plus also, in case he gets thirsty, there's three things of water. And I also gave him a really long run just a minute ago, so he's kind of tired out. He's gonna nap probably the whole time I'm gone. So yeah, as I mentioned, my sailing excursion today is gonna be a bit different than normal. Um, one key factor is the person I'm sailing with, Mary. She is in the upper echelon of uh, captains out there. She is extremely experienced. She's written a lot, she's taught a lot about sailing, so I'll be paying very close attention to what she does and what she says. Secondly, the ship I'm sailing on is well, take a look. This is a Katana 431, and it is no uh, exaggeration to say it's a little out of my budget, and I'm kind of scared I'm gonna like it way too much. So yeah, I managed to weasel my way onto this ship with a very experienced captain and everything, and it's just awesome, and it's only just because I'm gonna fly a drone for them and get them some drone footage. So, uh, yeah, whatever it takes to open the door, I guess. Man, I was wondering if these side halls really are as big as they look, and they are. They are. It really does feel like a three bedroom apartment. Hey, Rhett. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, doing good work down there? Yeah. Rhett, you saved the engine. That's two for two now. You're a legend. Two smaller terminals underneath the starter, the, the bolt is like stripped, so it's not making good contact. The waves are crashing onto the sand, the stars and the moon are standing hand in hand. The winter nights go by so slow, the lonely nights as cold as the snow. The sun was so empty, I'm sure full of him. He makes the city sleep and the stars seem to end For someone so empty I'm sure full of him He makes the rain fall slowly and drift with the wind The buzzing 
street lamp is out of here The world around me is so unclear Swollen lips and shaking hands As I look above, the sky expands In the busy street, you're all I see You're less of a want, but more of a need Of all my music, you're my favorite song I can listen to you all night long For someone so empty, I'm sure full of him He makes the city sleep and the stars seem dim For someone so empty, I'm sure full of him He makes the rain fall slowly and drift with the wind So empty, I'm sure full of him He makes the city sleep and the stars seem dim For someone so empty, I'm sure full of him He makes the rainbow slowly and drift with the wind So empty, I'm sure full of him For someone so empty, I'm sure full of him The waves are crashing onto the sand The stars and the moon are standing hand in hand The winter nights go by so slow the lonely nights as cold as the snow For someone so empty, I'm sure full of him He makes the city sleep and the stars seem dim For someone so empty, I'm sure full of him He makes the rain fall slowly and drift with the wind the buzzing street lamp is out of here The world around me is so unclear Swollen lips and shaking hands As I look about the sky This guy called me and he goes, I need to win a white class I said, okay He said, um I said, what you your interest? And he goes, well, a friend and I are thinking about buying a boat, so we need a class like tomorrow. He said, say, so, have you ever sailed before? Well, no. But we just fell in love with the idea of catching a boat, and we're going to get a boat, and we're just going to go, and we're just going to go buy a boat. And, you, know, you know, they don't they don't have any idea what's the best boat, what do they want. That's the thing, you know, there's one. You know, so and once like like you've sailed sail a little as many, bit. Sail as many ships as you can before you buy one, is that the best advice? <laughs> well, You'll find out pretty fast what is uh, comfortable, and it's all so individual, and there's so many kinds. All right, that's it, but I'm doing a promo reel for them and I'll put the, at the end of this video with a link to their stuff so you can go check them out. They are running like a sailing school, so uh, I wanted to take some lessons, but with all the van stuff, uh, it just it's not in the budget. I want to say a big thank you, by the way, to everyone who's hit me up on Patreon. I've, the numbers are rolling in right now, and it's it's crazy. It's like really exciting for me because I'm like really tentatively close at making it full time at this because of the Patreon almost exclusively and because of you guys. And uh, that's really cool. And it would be really rad if like Patreon paid more regularly, but they only pay once a month. And anyway, so I won't feel the benefits of that until I get the Arctic, which I will definitely need it for the Arctic. Anyway, long story short, can't afford classes yet. We'll take classes soon. And then I'll be hopefully crewing soon too. So lots of sailing stuff coming up. Actually, even more sailing tomorrow and the day after. This is a sail full day. All right, I'm gonna go meet, do a little meet up right now and uh, go check out my dog.
So my guests tonight are Brianne and Jimmy. They are two soon to be van dwellers, saving up, building up, making their future. And uh, it's kind of cool to talk to them about, share a little bit about what I've learned. So you guys can share a little bit about what you guys have learned because you've probably done even more research than I. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little more fresh. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's interesting to see how when I started two years ago, it was almost kind of like a different scene. Like you guys have a lot more resources, which is rad. So anyway, say hi. Hello. <laughs>